Hi guys, welcome back. So I know this video is long overdue. Um, like I'm talking really long overdue, as in like I sh this should have been filmed back in 2017 overdue. But um, I'm finally getting to it, so better late than never, I guess. But so today I'm gonna be talking about the Sublimage review. So if you guys look back on my video back in either it was February or March, because February was when I first started using the Sublimage line and I used it purely for you know scientific experimentation like I really wanted to see um, if our how our luxury line worked and how it was gonna affect my skin and how it was going to you know change my skin if it was gonna change my skin um, I just wanted to see if it was going to address everything that um, sublimage that the sublimage line claimed it was going to address if you guys want a more in-depth video where I talk about all the ingredients and like you know the whole story and the whole backbone behind the sublimage line I do have an entire video dedicated to that but um, you know today I'm just gonna be talking and reviewing it's gonna be more of like a review as opposed to you know a full like line skincare line 101 but I just I do want to recap just a little bit so the sublimage line is um, Chanel's most luxurious skincare line it is our highest um, the price point of this line is the highest because it is um, our most comprehensive skincare so um, we have a skincare line dedicated to hydration and it is a huge beauty line we have one dedicated to lifting and firming and anti-aging which is the Lilith line and we have one dedicated to um, um, brightening and just you know for radiance and that one is the LeBlanc line so the sublimage line is the most comprehensive line because it combines hydration anti-aging and brightening it's a most comprehensive line it's like if you took all those lines and you combined it into one skincare line so sublimage is meant to address um, the density of your skin the evenness of your skin the radiance of your skin and the moisture of your skin so it's supposed to help with any anti-aging it's supposed to help with your hydration and it's supposed to help with the evenness of your skin and give it some radiance so I really just wanted to see how it was gonna work on my skin um, and I'm just gonna go through the product one by one with you guys the products that I used religiously and mind you I used it in February and I used it all the way up until let me see February March April May June July I used it all the way through July and then I continued to use it I literally only stopped using it um, let me see back in I want to say November because I think December was when I was trying to wean myself off it I know I wean myself off it as if it's like a drug but um I'm just gonna go through you know one by one the products and the steps and I'll tell you you know how it worked out for me and I do have the empty container so that you guys can see yes I did use it um, so I want to start off with the sublimage um, essential comfort cleanser so this one is a sublimage cleanser and it is meant to be a three-in-one so it is a makeup remover a gentle exfoliator and a cleanser so this is actually the second bottle I went through because um, I continued to use it even after my cream ran out so initially I just wanted to use the line until you know my first jar of cream ran out Turns out I ended up using up two jars of these things. So as a result, I ended up using two bottles of these. And initially I was just using this as my morning cleanser. Um, but I didn't really, you know, I and in my previous video I did address that I use this as my morning cleanser because I didn't, you know, it wasn't what I was looking for at night. But as I kept using it as my morning cleanser, um, I didn't like how it made my skin feel. Like, um, not to say that it made my skin feel greasy, I just, I don't know. I just felt like it was more useful at night. So what I did was that I would use this first as my first step in cleansing. I always use a two-step cleansing um, method so whether my first step is using a um, makeup remover like this or using like a face makeup remover and eye makeup remover I always clean with two steps so this would be my first step in my um, cleansing ritual at night so if I'm wearing makeup I would use this I would you know squeeze some in my hand warm it up and I would literally massage it all over my face um, around my eyes I would actually massage my eye makeup off it does remove waterproof mascara um, I would massage like you know just my entire face and just until it turns from a gel into more of like an oil so when I feel like I've you know massaged my face enough where most of the makeup has been removed I will rinse it off with water I know it does come with a cloth but I don't like using the cloth um, and just because I don't feel like it's very hygienic, especially since I use it every single day, um, 
it just didn't make sense for me to use a cloth to wipe it off and then like rinse it and then let it dry. I don't know, to me it just wasn't very hygienic so I mean all I did was I would just rinse my face with water and then I would go in with another cleanser and it would be a foaming one. Um, either it would be the Mousse Confort or the Mousse Dussor. Um, I use those interchangeably and I would use and I would go in with that. Um, with my hands as my secondary cleanser just to make sure I don't have any residue left on my skin. So this retails for $100. Um, would I repurchase this again? No. Just because I don't feel like... I don't feel like it's a, yes, I know it's supposed to be a three in one. It has sugar derivatives that are meant to gently exfoliate your face. Um, it's supposed to be a, like a makeup remover and a cleanser. However, even though after I washed my face, like after I massaged my, you know, my skin with the makeup remover and I, I, you know, I massage it, I wash it off, I still feel like there's some residue on my skin and I still feel like there's some makeup like, you know, it's just still left on my skin. Um, and it kind of goes along with my same theory about two-in-one um, shampoo and conditioner. And this is something that I've never mentioned on camera. Like, I'm just t t telling you guys that um, this is the reason why two-in-one shampoo and conditioner doesn't work. Because they kind of work against each other. So, you put in shampoo, which is meant to wash, and then you put in conditioner, which is meant to moisten. So, they kind of counteract each other. And the same thing kind of happens when you, you know, start to throw too many things into a product. And you, I mean, that's why I know a lot of people, they like to have one product that does everything. Because it saves you a step. Um... However, I mean, I would rather have a makeup remover, a makeup cleanser, and a and and just a separate exfoliator. I would rather have three steps than to have this one step because I don't feel like all three of those steps in this one product work effectively. Like it's a gentle exfoliator, but I don't like the der the sugar derivatives in here. I don't feel actually um, they're not enzymic. There's no chemical compound in it that even gives me like a chemical exfoliation. Like there's no real exfoliation I feel going on, um, and I don't feel like this is you know like I tried to use it as a morning cleanser and it didn't work out for me and it doesn't really work well as a cleanser on its own. I feel because I still feel like there's residue. So all I really used this for was makeup remover and. I mean, $100 for a makeup remover is kind of overpriced, in my opinion. If you have it like that to just spend $100 on a makeup remover, well, you know, power to you. But $100 just for it to really work well as one function, um, I don't, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. So would I recommend this product? Uh, not necessarily. Like, I think... Um, the LeBlanc um, line does offer a makeup remover and that one is $60. So I feel like that one does the same thing as this one. Or you can get the um, Chanel Biphase, the, you know, the makeup remover that you have to shake and put on a cotton pad. That one's $45 and it actually does the makeup removal job a lot better than this. So is it a good cleanser? Meh. I mean, is it an exfoliator? Not really. Is it a good makeup remover? Yeah, it's a really good makeup remover. It removes all my eye makeup and it washes off really well. But, but I know that if I go in with a cotton pad right after just using this, I will still have makeup residue. So repurchase? No. Recommend? Not really. Did I see a difference in my skin with this? Not really. So the second product of the line that I use is the Sublimage La Lotion Supreme. This is the toner and it is empty as you guys can see. I used every single drop of it. Um, and this one did take me a really long time to go through. I didn't use this during the day. Um, I only used this at night. And what I did, I didn't put on a cotton pad because this is a really expensive product and I didn't want my cotton pad absorbing most of it. So all I did was I would dump it into my hands and just kind of like just pat it and press it into my face. Um, and this has magnetic water in it, or it has like, you know, magnetic properties in it to help just rebalance your skin and just kind of draw out the impurities. Um, right off the bat, I'm not a toner person. I don't use toner. Um, toner was initially meant, um, just in general, like back then a few years back, toner was used to rebalance your skin because cleansers um, would strip your skin and it would ruin the pH and it would, it would basically, cleansers used to give you um, an imbalance in the pH of your skin. So you would go in with a toner to rebalance that pH. 
But nowadays companies have made, you know, really great strides in um, their cleansers and so cleansers aren't as stripping anymore. Actually, they're not really stripping. So a toner nowadays, I don't feel is necessary. Toners don't really, they're a little redundant and to me they're obsolete. You don't really need a toner for anything. It doesn't really help with product absorption. Um, the only reason I could think of you using a toner would to be would be to remove any excess um, you know, makeup or any excess dirt and oils that you have. But I mean, I use a two-step skincare, a two-step cleansing routine. So a toner to me is redundant. I don't feel like toners are quite necessary. So, I mean, I was using this for a while. Um, I just felt like it was just an extra step in my routine. Um, did I really need it? No. Did I see a difference with it? Not really. I don't feel like it really, um, added any extra benefits to my skin. I don't know, I don't feel like I, like I just don't feel like it was a necessary step in my skincare routine. Um, it didn't help with any hydration, it didn't help with product penetration. Um, my, skin didn't, my skin didn't look any more brighter than it usually was. Mm, I don't know, like I just don't feel like this one was necessary. I mean, so would I repurchase? No. Do I recommend it? Not really. Next thing I want to talk about is the Sublimage um, eye cream. So in my video that you that's linked down below, um, that like if you guys went back and watched it, you guys would know that um, I actually dropped my um, eye cream and I had to transfer it into this jar. So um, as you guys can see, it's you know there's nothing in this jar anymore because I used it all up and it was full of the um, Sublimage eye cream. So this eye cream I actually really really enjoyed. Um, it gave a lot of hydration. It gave a lot of like, and it worked really well under makeup. It was really rich, but um, which isn't a bad thing. So our Super Wash eye cream is meant to have like a draining complex and an eye opening complex. It's supposed to minimize any appearance of fine lines and it helps with dark circles. Um, did it help immensely with my dark circles? Um, I didn't notice like a huge improvement, though I did feel like it helped a little bit. Um, I don't have any fine lines or wrinkles, so I can't really testify whether or not like, you know, it diminished any appearance of fine lines or wrinkles. Um, however, I did notice that when I was first using this, I did get a little bit of Melia. Like I got... Actually, I got quite a bit of it under my eye. I got a lot of Melia because this is really strong and I was using a little too much that my skin couldn't quite handle it. So I was experiencing a lot of Melia under my eye and um, I had to exfoliate a lot just to get the, you know, Melia to go away. Um, but I did really enjoy this eye cream. My only thing with this, the only reason why I'm, you know, I'm gonna stop myself from continual usage of this is because it is a little too rich for me. I'm only 24, so I don't need, um, an eye cream that is quite this comprehensive. Um, I feel like at this point I can get away with just preventing my, um, aging and just slowing down the aging process. Um, this would be good for anybody who is, you know, in their 30s, 40s, and upward. So anyone in their 20s, if you need an eye cream, I wouldn't recommend the Sublimage eye cream. Not that it's not a good eye cream because I really did enjoy it as I was using it. I mean, it worked well under my makeup, it worked well at night. I felt like my under eye area was definitely getting the hydration that it needed. However, like it's just a little too rich for anyone that's my age. I would definitely recommend it for anyone who's older and really needs the extra hydration under their eyes. So is it is it a good product? Yes. Um, is it, you know, do you need it? Um, to a certain extent, yes, to certain ages, I would definitely recommend this eye cream. Like my mom, I would definitely recommend this eye cream to her and she has tried my eye cream, this one in particular, and she really does enjoy it because her under eye area is getting a lot more dry as she ages and she's definitely been um, enjoying the Sublimage one as opposed to the Le Lift one, which is the one that she was using. And she said that that one just, it, she doesn't feel like it does the same job as it should be because her skin has gone so dry and this one has just given her the richness, the hydration and it's kind of, she said that um, the lines around her eyes have like really, the appearance of it has really decreased. So is it a good eye cream? Absolutely. And it really does last you that long. I only went through one jar of it um, from February all the way until when I ran out, which is um, November. So it lasts, this actually lasts you a really, really long time. I know that as I get older, this is gonna be the eye cream that I choose to go with. But right now, I mean, I don't necessarily need it. I didn't want to overwhelm my skin with all of this richness and you know, all this anti-aging product when all, I mean, really I could just prevent by properly hydrating my under eye area. 
Okay, next product I want to talk about is the Sublimage Le Fluide. <clears throat> so this product is a moisturizer, but it has a mattifying complex in it. So it's great for those who have oily skin um, and want to get the benefits of Sublimage or those who just want to use this during the day because it does have a mattifying complex. So I use this during the day and um, there is actually so much product in here. Um, I use this every single morning as my daily moisturizer and I just use one pump. Um, as you guys can see, like I've ran out of my cleanser twice, I've ran out of my um, toner, I've ran out of my eye cream. This product is still trucking. Like I am still using this every single day and I think there's still quite a bit of product in here. So one pump is all it takes to really um, just smooth over the skin and it's one pump is enough to cover your face is what I'm saying. So. I really enjoy it. I love that it comes in a pump. I love the texture of it. Um, do I want to buy it again after I run out? Um, let me see. It's kind of a toss up because I do enjoy the product. Like I really like it. However, I don't feel like it was, the price point is a little too high. Um, for me to want to repurchase it again at this point in time because I feel like for me as a person who's you know in their 20s I don't need to be using a sublimage product I don't need to be using Le Fluide um, I don't need you know all of the anti-aging benefits that this comes with um, it works really well under makeup I will give it that it works really well under makeup um, is it mattifying? No, it's not 100% mattifying. Like my skin did not look matte after I put this on. It is still a moisturizer. My skin did not look matte. It was still, my skin just looked moisturized. It looked healthy, but it definitely was not matte. Um, would I repurchase this again? Like at this point in time, no, just because I don't need it. I feel like during the day, I like once this runs out, I can get away with just using this, um, the Hydra Beauty gel cream or you know something very similar to that or even like the Hydra, Be the Hydra Beauty cream um, just so I can moisturize my face um, because like I said I at this point I can work more on the prevention as you know opposed to exposing myself to all this rich anti-aging skincare and then building an immunity to it later um, so it is a good product I do recommend this product because it is a really good moisturizer it does come in a pump so you know it doesn't get exposed to sunlight or anything it doesn't ruin the integrity of the product um, I would definitely recommend this it is a good product it's just for me personally at this point in time um, I wouldn't recommend it I mean I wouldn't use it I would recommend this for anyone who's in their 30s this would be a good day and night cream for anyone in their 30s okay so last product I want to talk about that I used religiously is a sublimage la creme so this one is a moisturizer and I did choose to use the middleweight one it does come in a texture fiend and a texture supreme so the texture fiend is a more lightweight one um, it has more of like a velvety finish this one is the middle one and we do have like a texture supreme where it is more definitely on the rich side so if you have really 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 dehydrated skin I would recommend the texture supreme also, if you hear anything in the background, like the sink or anything, um, I can't help that. Like my grandma's doing something in the kitchen and I just, I can't control that. So if you hear it, just ignore it. Um, so I use a La Creme just because I wanted to get the middleweight one. Um, at night, I tend to have the habit of over moisturizing just because I learned that you know when I over moisturize at night I overcompensate my skin for any you know dryness and that way my body doesn't my face in the morning the next day doesn't have to produce as much oil so that way you know it's properly moisturized at night and during the day I'm not gonna have to worry about overproduction of oil so I chose the La Creme but even like with that being said I wanted something in the middle the La Creme is a lot of moisture like I should have gone with the texture fiend. Um, that one would have given me the good, like a good amount of moisture. This one, um, it's very, very rich, and I realize that it is very, very rich. It's too rich for me, actually. Um, but I continued to use it for almost a year, actually, so about nine months, um, nine to ten months, and it was. I mean, I really liked how it made my skin feel. My skin was very moisturized the next day. Um, like I still had residue the next day my skin was very moisturized it was very plump um, very hydrated um, but I realized it is too rich for me and so would I repurchase this to use this as my nightly moisturizer in this point in time 
no. Um, just because it is a $400 cream, um, and like I keep saying, like, I'm on the younger side, like, I don't need a $400 cream, I don't need, um, all of the anti-aging benefits, I don't need something this rich for my skin right now. So when I stopped using this, I went back to the Hydra Beauty line, which is where I started off with anyway. So and I started using the micro cream um, just because I tried to wean myself off of it as much as I can because I know this one was really rich and if I just went back to regular Hydra Beauty cream, um, it wasn't going to, like my skin would just absorb it up. So I needed something with a lot of hydration and I used a micro cream. And transitioning from something like this to the micro cream, it, my skin definitely went into shock and my skin felt so dehydrated even with the micro cream that delivers 24 hours of hydration and and as I mentioned before in my micro cream video um, it's not something I would use during the day it's something I would use during the night but even though I use it at night in place of this um, my skin felt dehydrated because it literally just absorbed everything because it was used to the richness of this. So I literally had to reset my skin for two days with the weekend. I gave it a strong dose of glycolic acid and my skin has been cooperating with me since then. Um, but is this a good product? Yes. I mean, it does. My skin looked very translucent. It was very hydrated. It looked very glowy. My, I just had really nice skin. Um, I get I got compliments on my skin all the time. However, like I said at this point in time I don't need something this rich. So no, I would not repurchase it at this time Just because I don't need all of you know the benefits of it and I didn't like I said I didn't want to expose my skin to such a strong and rich dose of um, anti-aging because I don't need it quite yet so in terms of density my skin definitely felt like it was you know it was really firm and it was really radiant um, it was really moisturized um, in terms of evenness I don't feel like this cream in particular evened out my skin at all like it didn't I don't feel like it helped with any of like my hyperpigmentation or any of my dark spots um, I feel like there was one product in particular from the Chanel line that helps with my dark spots and evenness of my skin but it's not from this line is it a good moisturizer yes do I need it am I gonna buy it again no um, who should use this anybody in their 40s um, if you're in the in, if you're in your 30s you could definitely get away with using um, the lift even in your 40s you could get away with using the lift um, I would only graduate to this when you're in your 50s because this is a definitely a very 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 rich cream um, but if you are good at prevention which I am you know that's what I'm doing I would rather prevent than go back and try to minimize appearance or to go back and fix later so I don't necessarily need this right now but it is indeed a good product so all in all, um, did I like the line? As you can see, there were a couple products that I enjoyed, a couple products that I didn't feel were necessary. Cleanser and toner, I feel like you definitely don't need to spend $100 upward on a cleanser and a toner, especially one from this line, because I don't feel like a cleanser, at the end of the day, a cleanser is still a cleanser. It's not gonna really give you anti-aging benefits because at the end of the day, you're just washing it down the sink. The toner, I mentioned just toners in general it's kind of redundant it's a little obsolete it doesn't really do anything it's just kind of an added step um, that's why cleanser and toner in this line I don't really feel like you need it moisturizers eye cream mm, yes I I would ref I would definitely recommend it I think it's a really good line um, however not for anyone in their 20s because it was definitely a little too rich for me that when I tried to wean myself off of it my skin did not like it like my skin was just used to a lot of richness a lot of anti-aging it was just too strong for my skin so I didn't react badly from it or anything but I don't need all of that at this point in time so eye cream it's a really good eye cream um, but like I said I would save all of this for later um, in life so if you're in your 20s and you're like ooh super much like you don't need that right now um, stick to just hydration and you know prevention if you want to kind of work on anti-aging I would recommend using a blue serum but for anyone in their 20s you don't need the entire supermage line um, for people in general you don't really need the entire supermage line you can get away with picking and choosing a few products that you really like um, the moisturizer would be good the lift fluid would be good eye cream is good um, the one product that I started off trying that I didn't 
actually carry through trying was the Lasance. So the Lasance, um, I tried it for two weeks and my skin didn't really like it. It stung a little bit and I don't feel like it really did anything so I ended up giving it away to a friend. Um, I just, my skin didn't really react well to it but um, I kind of want to give it a second try but I'll think about that. Um, and then the one more product from the line that I didn't give a try at all was the Luxtrate. So the Luxtrate is a face oil and it's meant to supplement your skincare. Um, it's meant to, it's meant for you to use twice a week just when you feel like you needed extra hydration because that product is, um, as Chanel says, 100% active because it's taken from the stem cells of the vanilla planifolia flower. So since it's 100% active, um, it's not meant for everyday use, but I mean, like I said, this cream was rich enough for me. I didn't want to use a very active face oil even just to supplement because I didn't feel like I necessarily needed it. Um, later on, as I get older, yes, I will start introducing face oils into my regimen. Um, right now, I would not, you know, I don't feel the need to introduce um, an anti-aging oil that's that potent into my skincare. I just don't want my skin to build immunity to it and that way in the future when I do get older and I do need anti-aging, my skin just won't take it at all. Overall, Sublimage, it's a great line. Do you need everything from it? No. Do you need the cleanser and the toner? Not necessarily. Um, eye cream, yes, depending on how old you are. Day moisturizer and nighttime moisturizer, yes. Um, the Lasans, um, I, I want to give it another try and I will get back to you on that, but like straight, um, I don't even feel like it's a necessary step for everybody. Like I said, it's meant to supplement, even though it's just used for supplementary, I, I don't feel like it's completely necessary. Like even if you're super dehydrated, the texture Supreme is going to give you plenty of hydration, or even if you need more hydration than that, then you have the sublimage mask. And in my experience, everybody who's ever, like my mom has gone super dry. So she's used the sublimage texture Supreme and she's used the mask and it's been enough for her. Um, she hasn't had to um, supplement with the uh, Lextrade at all. But um, yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I mean, I know not all of it was positive, but there were definitely some positive aspects, but I'm just trying to be as honest with you guys as possible. So a Sublimage is definitely not for anyone. I mean, it can be, but I wouldn't recommend it for anyone in their 20s, even in their 30s. I would definitely recommend it for anyone who's middle-aged and upwards. So, I mean, there are some good products in this line, and then there's, you know, some products that you don't really need. But either way, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any more questions or anything you want me to address furthermore, just go ahead and comment down below. Um, if you're interested in the Sublimage line and you want to get a skincare consultation with me, you can feel free to either email me or um, you can call the counter that I always list the number down below and we can call and, and you can call and just, you know, chat with me and, you know, I would be more than happy to send some samples for you just so you can give it a try. Either way, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.